Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Agla Sim Schools. In this video, we will be covering the third and the last exercise of chapter comparing quantities, that is exercise 8.3 of chapter 8 from grade 7 NCRT textbook. This exercise basically covers questions related to conversion of ratios to percentages or to find increase or decrease in the value shown by the way of percentage. It also includes price related problems and later expressing profit or loss in form of percentage. Lastly, we have few questions based on simple interest, which we will be solving in the later part of the exercise. So let's quickly start with the question and check the solutions for the same. The first question says, what is the profit or loss in the following transactions and also to find profit percent or loss percent in each of the case. The first case is, we are gardening shares who were bought for 250 rupees and they have been sold for 325. So obviously, if we are selling off at a price higher than the cost price, it's the profit and the profit here is 325 minus 250 rupees. That is the selling price minus cost price, which comes to 75 rupees. And if we have to express this in form of percentage, we just need to divide the profit amount by the cost price and multiply it with 100. So here the profit is 75, the cost is 250, multiplied by 100 gives us 30%. Part B says a refrigerator bought for 12,000 rupees has been sold for 13,500. Again, this is a profit because selling price is higher than the cost price. So accordingly, there is a profit of 1,500 rupees. Why? Because selling price is 13,500, cost price is 12,000. So that comes to be 1,500 as a difference. Again, we'll find the profit percentage by dividing 1500 with 12,000 and multiplying with 100, we get the profit percent as 12.5. Now, part C says a cupboard bought for 2500 has been sold at 3000 rupees. Now, see again, we have sold at a price higher than the cost price. So, the profit is 3000 minus 2500, that is 500 rupees. The profit percent will be Obviously, profit divided by the cost price into 100, that is 500 divided by 2500 into 100, that comes around 20%. This is exactly the exact amount of 20%. Now, a skirt bought for 250 rupees sold at 150. So, the cost price here is 250, but we are selling it at a price lower than the cost price. So, there is a loss of 100 rupees, which is how we calculate it. We just subtracted cost price by selling price. So 250 has been reduced by 150 rupees that comes as 100 rupees as the loss. And if we have to calculate the loss percentage, just we need to divide as loss by cost price and multiply it with 100 in the same manner as we calculated profit percent. So 100 divided by 250 multiplied by 100 gives us 40% as the loss percent. Coming to question number two, here we need to convert each part of the ratio to percentage. So we have 3 ratio 1 as the first part. Now this 3 ratio 1 carries two parts that is 3 and 1. So the total number of parts here are 3 plus 1 that is 4. So the percentage of part remember is the fractional part divided by the total part multiplied by 100. So the fractional part here is 3. Why? Because 3 ratio 1. So the first part is 3. So 3 divided by the total into 100 gives us 75% as the percentage of first part to the total part. Similarly, part 2, 1 divided by 4 into 100. So, 25% is the percentage of part 2 to the complete segment, that is the total part of 4. Uh, coming to part B, that is 2 ratio 3 ratio 5. So here the total parts are 2 plus 3 plus 5, that is 10. Percentage of part 1 will be 2 divided by 10 into 100. Part 2 will be 3 divided by 10 into 100. Part C will be 5 divided by 10 into 100. And this we have already calculated. Part C, here total parts are 5. Percentage of first part will be 1 by 5 into 100. Part B will be 4 by 5 into 100. So this comes to 20% and 80%. Similarly, the last part that is 1, ratio 2, ratio 5. So total parts here come to be 8. And when we are to calculate the percentage of part 1, 2 and 3, it's 1 by 8 into 100, 2 by 8 into 100, 5 by 8 into 100. 
So we have calculated this for you. The first is 25 by 2, that is obviously 12.5%. Second is 25%. Third is 62.5% or 62 1 by 2%. Coming to question number 3. Here the population of city decreased from 25,000 to 24,500. Now we need to find the decrease in the percentage. So how will we calculate? We know that initial population is 25,000. Current population is 24,500. So there is a decrease of 500. So how will we calculate the decrease? We just divide the decrease with the initial population and multiply with 100. So 500 divided by 25,000 into 100 gives us 2% as the decrease in population. Question number 4. Arun bought a car for 350,000. The next year the price went up to 370,000. So what is the percentage of price increase? Obviously we'll compare the original price with the new price and we came to know that there is an increase in price of 20,000. So if we have to calculate the percentage increase, just divide 20,000 with the original price that is 350,000 and multiply it with 100. So you get 40 divided by 7% as the answer or 5, 5 by 7% as the increase in the price. Coming to question number 5, I buy a T for 10,000, sell it at a profit of 20%. So how much money I will get when I will sell it off? So what we need to consider here is the cost is 10,000. I need to book a profit of 20%. So what is the profit? 20 upon 100 into 10,000. So I need to increase the value by 2,000. So I will get 10,000 plus the profit that is 2,000. So total I'll get is 12,000 rupees. Question number six. Juhi sells a washing machine for 13,500. Now she has lost 20% in the bargain. The question says, what was the price at which she bought? Now here we don't know what was the cost of the machine. But we know that the selling price is 13,500. And we also know she lost 20% of the cost. So let's assume the cost is X. And what she lost? She lost 20% of X. And we know that for selling price, if we need to compute, if we reduce loss from the cost price, we actually get the selling price. So I'll reduce 20% of X from X and this is equal to 13,500. So I get X as 16,875 when I do the computations. So this is what was the actual price of washing machine. Now question number seven. A chalk contains calcium, carbon and oxygen in the ratio of 10, ratio 3, ratio 12. We have to find the percentage of carbon in the chalk. So first thing is, what is the total of the three parts of calcium, carbon and oxygen? It's 10 plus 3 plus 12, that is 25. Now if I need to find the percentage of carbon, that is this, what I'll do? I'll just divide 3 by the total, that is 25 and multiply with 100. So now I know 12% is the percentage of carbon in a chalk. So please note this as one because this we'll use in the next question. Now, if in a stick of a chalk, carbon is 3 grams, what is the weight of chalk? Now we have given you the weight of carbon in a chalk and we also know only 12% of chalk is carbon. So let's assume the weight of chalk is x grams and we know that 12% of this x is actually 3 grams. We, this is what we calculated here. So 12% of x is given to us 3. So what will be x? x will be 3 into 100 by 12 that is 25. So the weight of stick or the chalk is 25 grams. Coming to question number 8. Amina buys a book for 275, sells it at a loss of 15%. So how much does she sell it for? Now here we know the cost. We know she has lost 15%. So 15% of 275, she has lost. She has lost 41.25 rupees. So what is the price she'll get for? If we reduce cost price with loss, so she'll get 233.75 as the value when she sells the book. Now coming to question number nine. Find the amount to be paid at the end of three years in each case. Here the principal is 1200 
and 12% per annum is the rate of interest. This is given to us. So what we are given? Principal, rate of interest and the time as 3 years. And we know that the formula for interest is P into R into T upon 100. Accordingly, we multiply 1200 into 12 into 3 and divided by 100, we get 432 as the interest. And if we have to calculate the amount, so we just need to add principal plus interest, we get 1200 plus 432. So 1632 is the answer. Second case is principal is given, ROI is 5% now. So the time remains 3 years. Here the interest will be 7500 into 5 into 3 upon 100, that is 1125. Amount is obviously the addition of 7500 plus 1125, that is 8625. Now question number 10, that is what rate gives 280 as interest on a sum of 56,000 in two years? So you are not given with rate. This is what you need to know. So what I'll do is principal I know, time I know, interest, yes, 280 rupees is given. So let's assume rate is R. So interest formula is P into R into T upon 100. Accordingly, we can change this into rate formula. So rate formula is 100 into interest in upon P into T. Everything is given to us. When we solve it, we get 1 by 4%. So actually 0.25% is the ROI at which you will get 280 as the interest on 56,000 in two years. Now the last question. If Mina gives an interest of 45 for one year at 9% rate of interest, that is per annum, what is the sum she has borrowed? Now here interest paid is given, rate of interest is given, time is given, but we don't know what is the principal. So interest is P into R into T upon 100. Let's change this formula into principal formula now. So principal is equal to 100 into I upon R upon T. So accordingly, principal comes around. 500 rupees. So, Meena gives interest of 4500 for one year at 9% on 500 rupees. So, this is all from the exercise. I hope the solutions to all the questions are well understood by all of you. In case if you have any doubt related to the questions so covered in the video, kindly let us know by writing in the comment section below. For videos of other chapters and subjects, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.